second. I'm Ben. I'm Eugene. And you're watching THS TV. That was a great Super Bowl last night, Eugene. I agree. Katie's Perry show was awesome, and there was even a fight in the end. Well, let's catch up with our own sports. The boys' varsity basketball team beat Calhoun 54-30, to and we're now 5-1 and in the district. High scorers were Noel Sanchez with 17 points, Jarlin White with 9 points, Boo Maxwell and Ronnie Flops with 8 points each. <laughs> we're still looking to improve our shooting from the free throw line, but all else is smooth sailing. The boys play tomorrow here in, in Ranger Gym against George Ranch. Both Longhorns and Rangers are tied for district lead, so it, it should be a great night for basketball. Freshman A team also beat Calhoun 70 to 42. Leading scores were Brian Thomas with 17 points, Linus Brown with 10 points, and Damian Rush and Mark Martinez with 9 points each. The varsity Lady Rangers lost to Sand Crabs 29 to 37. Leading scores was Lada Robinson with 10 points. The JV team also lost to Calhoun, sadly 18-34. The freshman Lady Rangers brought home a huge win over Calhoun, 66-14. Leading scorers were Zariah Sams with 16 points, Corinne Vinson with 12 points, and Annalie Nunez with 12 points. In soccer, the Lady Rangers beat Safford 3-2. Scoring goals were Jakira Coleman, Ashley Escobar, <laughs> Alex Jimenez. Alex had one assist. Our goalie, MJ Hernandez, had 20 saves. He has 20 saves. The JV team also won 3-1. Scoring all goals were Savannah Jimenez. The Rangers play here tomorrow at 4.30 and 6.30. Come out and support our team. The varsity tennis team played in the Brazosport varsity tennis tournament and came home with medals and trophies. Daniel Verado and Jerry McMillan won third places in boys doubles. Ari Rada in Richmond Pitts won consolation in boys doubles and Raymond Segura won consolation in boys singles. Congratulations, everybody. Class of 2015, your meeting after school tomorrow is room 119. Senior serve is Saturday. And we're proud of all those seniors taking place in senior serve to earn money for progress. If you want to be part of the cheer squad, listen up. There is a mandatory meeting tonight in the cafeteria at 6.30. You'll get your trial packets at and. You need a parent or guardian to come with you. The anime club is meeting tomorrow morning at 7.40 in room 426. So what's our word of the day? Well, I'm glad you asked. Actually, the word of the day is asylum. This is a place of security or retreat, much like the beach for some people. Great. Let's give some birthday shout-outs. Happy birthday to Brandon Ram Williams and Glenn Ramirez. Jose Nunes, Kumon P, Michaela Holiday, and Grace Igwe. If you see these people in the hall, you make sure to tell them happy birthday. And now moving on to our thought of the day. It comes from Brian Tracy. The kindest thing you can do for the people you care about is become a happy, joyous person. And that is actually very true. That's awesome, man. So what are we celebrating today? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're not celebrating anything ridiculous, but we're actually celebrating Groundhog Day. Really? What's that? Well, Groundhog Day is the day when everybody watches this groundhog up in New Hampshire. If he sees his shadow, it's six more weeks of winter. If he doesn't, then we'll have an early spring. Well... Well, Eugene, sad to say, Phil saw his shadow, so they're looking at six more weeks of winter. Well, after thinking it was going to rain Sunday, I'm really not going to believe anything the weather, the weatherman has to say. Well, me either, but they do have prediction, and there's this for the week. Includes highs in the 70s, uh, I'm sorry, highs in the 50s with a slight chance of rain. I can live with that, man. I can too. I love some nice 50 cools weather. Can you live with soft tacos and chili pie on the menu tomorrow? Ah, uh, well, I guess I have no choice since it's either that or I bring my own lunch. Yeah. If you're in the UIL or an act play, you'll have rehearsals tonight from 4 to 6 as well as Wednesday and Thursday. So that's Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday rehearsals. This Thursday is the first annual LCISD Dance Spectacular. The Phillies, Flares, Lariats, and Rangerettes will showcase their contest routines for the upcoming season. The show starts at 7 over at Lamar. It's free. Come out and support the Reds. Well, did you know, Eugene, there's actually a golf scholarship due this Friday? I don't even play golf, man. Doesn't matter. You can apply anyway. That's just one of the many scholarships that the College Room has to offer. So go see Miss Phillips and Miss Parker and get that free money. 
And this month is Kate Month. Be looking for a scavenger hunt through your advisory class. Sorry, next week you can win a gift card. That's awesome. This week the yearbook sales, the yearbook will be selling yearbook and putting posters out in the hallways. Look for the posters up around the school. Today you need to order your yearbook now. If you pay $5 every other week, your book will be paid for in no time. Come by room 119 and find out the details. Get ready. Because it's Valentine's coming up, man. Is it? Really? Yeah, carnations. Wow. Coming. They'll be taking orders during all lunches, February 10th, 11th, and 12th. That's awesome. They're $2, and for $1, you'll get three. Oh, no, or three, or for five. You must know your Valentine's third period. Or your teacher's name. Man, I can't believe Valentine's Day is almost here. There's going to be so much love going around. He's like, I need to start saving up, man. Well, that's it for today, Terry. Thanks for the video from Henry Tejada. And, our, and it is a This Week in History. I'm Ben. And I'm Eugene. And this is the THS TV crew saying, have a wonderful week.